Children learn best by doing. They love and enjoy learning while playing. Welcome back once again to Sparklet's Learning. I am Teacher Russell and I am glad to have you here. In today's video, we are going to talk about learning centers. And what are learning centers? These are the different activities inside and outside a classroom meant to strengthen learning. The children play games and do fun activities related to the lesson in their centers. You will be amazed at how fast children learn this way. I am going to share with you some of the center activities that I do in my reading and phonics center. Shout out to you parents! You can also do this at home. Our first center is Read It, Build It, Write It. In this activity, you will need this template, scrabble letters or letter cutouts, markers, and flashcards. Give each child one template, then put the flashcards on the table, then ask each child to get one flashcard and read it, build it using the scrabble letters or the letter cutouts, and then copy it. This can be done in a big group or a small group or even individually. Here is the sample video of this activity. Our second center is find the secret word. Here, you will need pen with invisible ink and pieces of paper. There are two ways to do it. First, you can dictate some words and the children will write them. Then using the flashlight of the pen, they can read and spell the words that they wrote. Check this out. Okay, Kayla, write the word plant. Can you show me the word? Can you spell? P L A N T. And the word is? Plan. Okay, good job. The second way to do it is the teacher or the parent can write some words on the paper, then the children will find and read them using the flashlight of the pen. Look at the sample video. Up, stop, curl up, clap, fill up, flag, aim, flame. For variations, the children can write as many words as they want on a paper and let their friends find the secret words. Our next center is reading words with B-Bots. Here are the materials that you will need in this activity. B-Bots. These are available online. Word mat. Words should be 15 cm apart. That is how far bbots can move forward and backward. And how do you do this activity? Let the children take turns in targeting a word to go to. Let them operate the bbots by estimating how many forwards, backwards, and turns the bbots should do. Look at the sample activity. Go to Mike. In our next center is matching words and pictures. I am quite sure that most parents and teachers are very familiar with this activity. Simply print 
pictures and words of your lesson for the day or for the week and let the children grace in matching them. However, you can add more fun and challenge in this activity. Use a timer. You can give them 30 seconds, 1 minute or more depending on the ability of your children. Check out this video. Scavenger Hunt is our next center activity. This is a great outdoor activity. You can do this in the playground, in the garden, along the corridor, or even in the garage wherever there is enough space. However, doing this inside a classroom or inside a bedroom will also be fun. Scatter the flashcards on the floor or stick them on the wall or hide them around and let the children find and copy as many words as they can under time limit. Again, using a timer will add some challenge and fun in this activity. Check out the sample video that we have. Pencils up! Timer begins now! You can ask the children to read the words they copied after playing. Middle Sound Race is our next center activity. We are going to use paper plates in this. Write all the beginning and final sounds on paper plates with the same color. Then the middle sound on paper plates of different color. Attach all the beginning and the final sound on the wall, leaving space for the middle sound. Then group the children into two. As the teacher says begin, they will raise informing words by sticking the middle sound. After playing, they will read the words that they were able to form. The group who formed more correct words wins. Check the sample video of this activity. Next is flip the pancake. All you have to prepare in this activity is a spatula and circle cutouts as pancakes. Write some words on the pancakes and turn them upside down on the table or on the floor. Then, using a spatula, let the children take turns in turning the pancakes and reading the words. If the child cannot read the word, put back the word upside down again and mix with the rest. The child who can read the word gets the pancake. Here is the sample video of this activity. Very good. Amethyst. Very good. Grace. Read. Read. Faith. For very young learners, you can use just letters. Let them identify the letter name or the letter sound as they turn the pancakes. Let's move on to our next center, Word Hopscotch. This is a great indoor or outdoor activity. Just prepare a mat of words and let the children jump on the words as they read them.
for very young learners, you can use the letters of the alphabet. The parent or the teacher can just say the letter name or the letter sound and the child will jump on it. Yes! Okay, can you jump on? Yeah, yeah. What about Z? What about B? B? D? D? What about X? J? What about V? K? K? G? T? W? W? Let's move on to another exciting center activity. Swat the word. You will need fly swatters in this activity and some flashcards. Stick the words on a mat board or just put them on the table. Then, ask the children to swat the word that you are going to say. This can be done individually or by group. For variation, ask one child to read a word and the rest will swat it. Swat the word time. Swat the word say. Swat the word gate. Swat the word mic. Swat the word date. Swat the word kite. Swat the word bike. 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 Swat the word nine. Swat the word rake. Scoot with words is another fun activity in phonics. Prepare some flashcards and ask the children to sit in a circle formation. Then give each child one flashcard and as you say scoot, the children will pass their flashcards to the children next to them. The teacher decides how many scoots before calling random children to read the words on the flashcards that they are holding. Are you ready now? Yes, yes we are! So let's begin now. Let's start. Okay? Scoot! Stood. Read. G well. Stop. Stood. Stood. Read. Yeshua. Stood. 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 Samara. In our last center is dodgeball phonics. You will need some plastic balls and baskets in this activity. Attach some words on the plastic balls and put them in a tray. Then group the children into two. Assign one child for each group to hold the basket. Then the rest of the children will shoot the balls in their respective baskets. Take a look at this. The children should be able to read the words to get a prize. Those are some of the activities that I have in my Reading and Phonics Center. If you have any questions or you need the templates of some of the resources that I use, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see our future videos.